What is going on everybody? It is Corky here. Today I'm going to be playing some Bound by Flame. I've been looking forward to this game for a while now. I don't know. It's kind of like a back and forth thing between this game and another game that I've been wanting to get. But I decided to go with this one because I figured this is going to be the longer and more intense game. So yeah, hopefully I can jump in and just kick some ass. I doubt I shall ever forget the strange series of events that led to my meeting young Vulcan. The peoples of the world had been fearfully whispering about the Ice Lords for the past ten years. Though, of course, they had been present long before then. The Dead Walker Army, an endless horde of undead creatures under the Ice Lords' command, swept down from the mountains in the north, annihilating all resistance on the continent. Each battle only served to swell their ranks with the defeated dead and the bloodless world seemed ready to sink into an endless ice age where there would be no place for the living. There were a few who still tried to stand against the invaders. The elves, who had hitherto remained neutral, and the red scribes, a small group of scholars who believed their knowledge might be able to tip the scales. The scribes had recently engaged the services of a group of mercenaries known as the Freeborn Blades. A renowned company who would become even more so after these events the blades were to protect them while they performed a ritual which was intended to change the course of the war Great scouts. You can smell them from 50 yards away. So here we are. And just think, the captain wanted me to stay and set up camp. I didn't join the Freeborn Blades to stack pots and share trains. Setting up camp. Now that's what I call being useful. I honestly believe we stay out of this damn war till the end. Well, looks like the end just showed up. The Ice Lords have really done it this time. Olivertiel is on the brink. Nothing will stop the Deadwalkers. Soon there won't be a town left to fall back to. Or even a tavern where you can spend your pay. There's no one left to turn back this filthy, stinking tide. If it were even possible. Let's hope our beloved employers can deliver on their promises. If their big ritual thing doesn't pan out, we're all gonna be left standing here with our asses hanging out. A bunch of chatty priests playing Sorcerer's Apprentice against seven immortal mages. Sounds great. Anyhow, you have to fight fire with fire, so they say. Damn, they're here already. I better warn the others fast. Wow, that was a, uh, that was a pretty awesome intro. <laughs> oh boy. I just have this feeling that it's going to be like uh, Dark Souls. J just my gut feeling though, just telling me that. 
But man, the graphics are kind of uh, iffy. That's all I gotta say in that matter. Wait, what is this? What is this? Search. Leather. I take it there's, there's gonna be crafting, so. Hey, enjoy your stroll. Get over here and tell me about it. Well, why don't you just come down here and talk to me? Douchebag. <laughs> By the looks of you, I'm guessing it wasn't just a quiet stroll. So, what did you see? The dead walkers are already close. I got one of their scouts. God damn it, Vulcan! I've told you a hundred times, recon means observing and reporting, not charging in and fighting without thinking. I didn't want him to alert all of the others before we were ready for them. But what if they'd have killed you? Then you wouldn't have been able to alert us before they were ready to attack us. Think for a second. God's blood. We have to get ready for them. Now that you've finally got your ass back over here, you can prepare some traps. Get Peeler to help you place them around the temple. That'll give us some time, and we'll hear them coming. Yes, sir, Captain. And if you have questions, you know where to find me. <laughs> <laughs>